Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here today I am just hanging out with this high boy Titan off-road scooter. First and foremost, this thing is phenomenal. I'm sitting here in this spot that for me, it's crazy. I've lived in this town for about seven years. In fact, I've lived in this area my entire life. And I have not been to many of the areas that I am now able to get to because of really my ability to get around easy, kind of scoop myself around into some different areas and I'm just exploring. This is awesome. This area here, just so beautiful, a little buggy right now, but that's okay. I'm taking a minute, chilling out, getting this high boy into some good quality use and I have a ton a ton to show you. So again, this thing's awesome. I absolutely love it. I can highly recommend it. And if you're interested in something like this, I would say definitely hang tight. So if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at High Boy who did provide this for review. Now here you can see getting the high boy Titan ready for use. First and foremost, this is a little bit heavy. So you're gonna need to take your time and make sure you're capable of lifting this. This may be a two person job depending on your strength. But generally speaking, packaged extremely well. And the thing that I think is very interesting about these e-bike companies and e-scooter companies, these products come put together almost entirely. The assembly is very straightforward and extremely simple. And the nice thing here with the Titan, it comes with everything you need, including the tools. So from the screws to the tools, no problem. Pretty much all you're gonna do is bring the riser bar up, install your stem and get the bolts put into place, tighten down appropriately. And for the most part, you're ready to go. The only other thing you need to do is take your little computer, swivel that into place and get that adjusted as well. Now the nice thing is the tensioning mechanism for the upright bar is very, very stout. This is extremely stout and is very easy to use and I like that quite a bit. Now this is a collapsible design which for me could come or go. I did find that I do actually sort of fold this up a little bit if I throw it in the back of my truck, but not a big deal. Charging this and getting it completely ready for outdoor use, very, very simple. Now at this point, there are a few things to go over. The Titan has an 800 watt electric motor, a 12.5 amp hour battery. This has an approximate range of 28 miles and a maximum speed of around 25 miles per hour. This exhibits 10 inch pneumatic off-road tires that are pumped up to a maximum of 35 PSI. This does have double disc mechanical brakes and an e-braking system and these do work very well. This is on an elevated platform, it has rear suspension, and it does appear as though, according to High Boy, this can climb approximately a 25 degree hill. Now this comes with all sorts of lights, fully ready to go from a nice little headlamp to a rear light and then your side LEDs. Generally speaking, very good. This has a horn, this has a digital display, very nice. The fender, awesome. And the foldable design, yeah, like I said, I'll take it or leave it, but it's nice that it's there. The brakes, very nice. I do like these handlebars and everything about this, getting it ready for use, seems to be very nice, very nicely made and just sound. They're not, from what I can tell, extremely high-end components, but at the same time, they do exactly what they need. With an interesting swing arm design, platform, and everything that you need, this is going to be a joy, an absolute great scooter to get into some good hard use. Now the platform is approximately nine inches wide and has a little bit of a ramp, and this has some interesting geometry overall. The last thing worth noting is this does seem to be IP53 water resistant. So you can't completely soak it, but at the same time, it can really take a little bit of a bath. And if you get caught in rain, shouldn't be too big of a deal, but you definitely want to be careful. This does have a little bit of a horn. It's a little bit interesting. And the only thing I found as I got this set up is the handle grips do seem to slide and rotate around just a bit. Not a big deal. This is definitely going to be a nice platform and something I think I'm going to greatly enjoy. 
at this point, getting it ready for use, pretty much ready to go. But one thing that you do need to consider, make sure your tires are fully pumped up. This did come ready to go, but at the same time, the tires were a little bit flat. So taking a look here, you'll notice I did need to pump these up. Not too big of a deal, as I mentioned. These do take approximately 35 PSI maximum. I thought for this case, I would go to 30. I thought 30 PSI would be about appropriate. And both of these, both the front tire and the rear, did need air. So again, paying attention to that, making sure before I got out for the very first time that these were fully inflated and ready to go. But with that, really simple. These do not take a ton of air. Getting a little bit of a practice run in. First on mode one, this does have three different settings. So one being eco, two sort of in the middle, and then three being the turbo mode. Just taking a quick little spin around getting some practice under my belt, making sure I was comfortable with this. So when I would get out onto the street, I at least had a little bit of practice under my belt. Now, this is something that's very important and worth noting. I am not a scooter guy. I am not a scooter guy at all. In fact, if anything at best, I'm just an outdoor enthusiast. I grew up on mountain bikes. I grew up on motorcycles. And when I say grew up on mountain bikes, what I mean is, like, I really rode hard. I was pretty good at mountain biking. I still am today. I don't get out quite as much as I'd like, but when I ride, I ride hard. And when I mean mountain biking, I do mean all mountain. So having an off-road scooter, I thought would definitely be pretty cool. So getting this into some use, getting a little bit of practice under my belt, taking it, whipping it around the neighborhood a few times, doing some jumps off the curbs, getting a good feel for this, I thought that would be a great place to start. And generally speaking, I mean, for me, just open the thing wide up, hit that 25 miles an hour, feels really good. Kick the kickstand. You'll be all right. You're a kid. Just pull it back. Um, hit the throttle. This? No, the throttle, the butt. Push it. Yeah. Oh. Now I was curious about how this would work for my kids. My oldest son's about 12 and a half right now. I thought this might be about perfect. And this is gonna give you an example of how it looks with a smaller rider. For me personally, I am about six feet. I'm about 175 pounds. My son, certainly not that height. So what's it gonna be like for, eh, call it a preteen? Not too bad, actually fairly reasonable for him. And you can see based on his size and his weight, this thing gets going pretty good. So for a kid, I think this is gonna be a reasonable model. It's not too large overall. And if anything, it's really pretty good to manage his weight. And he had some pretty reasonable maneuverability overall. It definitely had a good amount of pickup and go. And for somebody who's a little bit lighter, this thing will really take off. For me at 175 pounds, it doesn't have quite the same acceleration, but at the same time, it's still pretty good. And you can see, based upon the smile on his face, this scooter is a whole heck of a lot of fun. Now, my wife, on the other hand, she's not the most coordinated. I thought she was really gonna wipe out, but at the same time, kudos to her for giving it a try. Definitely, you can see based on the smile on her face, it is a lot of fun. But now at this point, trying to get into some further use, the first thing is, who is this scooter going to be for? Well, let's take it into the urban environment. This is definitely going to be an ample scooter for the urban environment. It does have some knobby tires, and you can see they definitely have a fairly aggressive tread. And the fact that they're pneumatic, they do have the inflation, so they're not going to be a hard rubber. You do need to monitor them, and there is potential for you to get a flat. But at the same time, I don't really struggle with that, nor do I necessarily care. In my particular case, I just want to enjoy the urban environment. I want to ride, and I want to ride hard. And having something with pneumatic tires, having something with the rear suspension, really, really cool. And I found that for the most part, as I rode this, I pretty much really did tend to go full throttle. And I didn't find that, for the most part, I really struggled with that. I thought it was very balanced. I thought it had excellent control. I felt in control at pretty much all times. I did not find as though I had too much in the way of bar wobble or anything like that, only sometimes going downhill. But generally speaking, this was extremely, 
extremely well controlled. I felt as though I was in control literally the entire time, and this handled almost everything in the urban environment perfectly. The ability to go up little curbs, the ability to jump off of curbs, the ability to squeeze through tight little areas, all the bumps that you come across, even occasional potholes. The fact that this scooter is a little more rugged and it's more all-terrain really works to the advantage. And I found as though with good riding technique, I could you know, crank little sort of wheelies and get over some of the hazards, make it off the curbs and just zip around. And overall, this is awesome. I really, really do enjoy the High Boy Titan. I think it's a fantastic scooter and in the urban environment, very, very enjoyable. Now, despite what High Boy says, you can get away with some things. You can see here, going down a staircase, not a big deal. You have plenty of clearance and it's rugged enough and it's robust enough to be able to do that. And it gets me to some areas easily that are just enjoyable. The ability for me to enjoy my urban environment and the community I live in, this is absolutely awesome. I do greatly enjoy it and so to get around like this, fantastic. Now next, the ability for me to transition from the paved areas to the grassy areas or even a little bit of dirt, absolutely awesome. That's the next thing I love about the High Boy Titan. The flexibility, the versatility, the ability to change from different surfaces without worrying. With the pneumatic tires, it's literally perfect for this. And that's the thing that I love. Again, a little bit of open throttle and just pushing it awesome and the other thing that i found the nice little bonus it gives me that little bit of a seat the ability to just relax very very cool i love it this high boy titan has just been great for me it's really performed and again the ability to get around from location to location fantastic and as i mentioned early on the ability to scoot between some of those tight little areas no need to worry about it, just getting from point A to point B, very, very simple. And if you didn't think this had a lot of pep, take a look at this. Full throttle, headed downhill, no problem. On the paved surfaces, this absolutely whips. And the brakes generally, very, very good, stopping on a dime. Now I know there's other models out there that may be faster, that's fine. But the thing is with the Titan, it's the flexibility that I love. Again, the ability to go to different environments, the ability to get from point A to point B, get in everything in between, transition from pavement to grass to dirt, over curbs, through potholes, over speed bumps, it doesn't matter. The High Boy Titan can absolutely handle it. And I love that about it. And for me, getting to some areas that I otherwise have not been able to explore, finding fields and going through them, does it struggle a little bit? Yes. Does it have some times where it's going uphill and it's maybe just a little bit underpowered? Yes, but overall, it can do this, it can do it well, and it's taking me places that I otherwise haven't seen. So again, another reason why for me, the High Boy Titan has been absolutely perfect. I can say I do absolutely love it. This High Boy Titan, somewhere between fantastic and phenomenal. Really, really cool. Now some things worth paying attention to, when you are in tall grass, you definitely need to be careful. Things like, for example, maintenance of your brakes, picking out all the little pieces, making sure that it's not getting all wound up inside and gumming things up and creating any mechanical issues. Not a big deal, just something to pay attention to. And it's really pretty simple, all things considered. You can see a couple times here, needing to pump a little bit, get myself some momentum. But then again, making it over to the flat sections and downhill, no problem at all. Again, the High Boy Titan has worked extremely, extremely well for me. In the urban environment, in the sort of rural environment around my town, 
getting to all kinds of places and exploring. That's the key for me, being able to explore, not worried about where am I gonna park my car, how am I gonna find these different areas, just getting out, enjoying the outdoors, putting this to good use, and just having fun. The High Boy Titan, definitely flexible, versatile, and it gives me the ability to really enjoy my surroundings, getting outside, and having some fun. So this is the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two of the High Boy Titan series. In the next series, we're gonna get to some hardcore off-road use. Let's see how it performs.